There were instances of heroism recorded at the crash scene. One man rescued a family in a flaming house. Another pulled an uninjured but dazed resident away from danger. Civil Defense, Red Cross, and Salvation Army all mobilized for a disaster, but those nearest the crash site were either killed or spared injury. They were charred beyond recognition because they just flashed with fuel and burned, that's all. The death toll, 30 people, 23 on the ground, along with seven on board the KC-135 tanker. Nicknamed Raggy 42, the plane had taken off just four minutes earlier from McConnell Air Force Base. I remember that tanker taking off. Now a retired airline pilot, Doug Moeller was a 21-year-old machinist at the Boeing factory right next to the air base. Most of the time when a tanker would take off, it would go by fairly high. But this, this airplane was real low, and I thought to myself, the airplane's either got a serious problem or it's way heavy, because there was no reason for it to be that low at that point in departure. The plane's mission was to refuel in midair a modified B-52 bomber that was being tested. But this flight lasted just four minutes. It was doomed from the start, from the time it left the ground. I would say when I saw that airplane go by the window, and it was, it was about like this, you know, instead of up here, it was like this. It was over with. Raggy 42 had taken off from McConnell at 927 heading north. Witnesses say it never got more than a few hundred feet off the ground. Starting a northwest turn over Oliver Street, it started to yaw or appear unstable. The crew started dumping fuel from the plane's massive refueling tanks as they flew over Wichita State University, then banked hard to the left. Seconds later, the plane made a frantic mayday call to the control tower, and the jet took a nosedive. The airplane came across those trees of those houses going like this, and finally just it nose first, and thank goodness it didn't just go like that. It had cleaned out a two or three or four city blocks, you know, but it pretty much hit the, hit the ground in an attitude about like this. You can imagine when that airplane hit the ground and dug a crater and threw debris everywhere, it was like a major bomb explosion. <laughs> 